Here behind me, I have these conical tanks that I got on Craigslist for around less than three hundred dollars per. What is that? Two, four, eight of these. So these are what I will use in my aquaponic system to make filters. I'll show you the idea that I have at the moment, and then the nice thing about these is because they have a stand that I can take them off of. I'll set them up, and then I'll do all the plumbing and drill the holes after I have it like set up in position. But I'll show you the idea right now, and then in the video you'll see the different filters. Here are the different tanks. So I have four of these kind. One like this. This one doesn't have a removable stand, but I'll make it work. And then I have three of these, I missed, that also have a removable stand. They came with this inch and a half bulkhead fitting. You can see there. So I will have to take that off and drill it bigger. The nice thing about the other seven I have, they're all two inch, two inch, two inch. So I'll just have to replace those. But the idea is this will be a radial, radial swirl filter. So it'll be a mix between a swirl filter and a radial flow filter. Because after looking up, it seems like the swirl filter doesn't perform as well as a radial flow filter. So I'll combine that into a radial uh, swirl filter. And then this one I'll make into a moving bed bio filter. And then these two will become radial flow filters. And then from there it would overflow into the grow beds. And same on this side. This will be a, a radial or a radial swirl filter. So basically the water will come at an angle, it'll swirl, and then in the center we'll have the radial flow filter kind of setup thing. I'll show you how that, well I'll show you how I make each of them separately. So I'll show you how to make the those in one video, those in another video, and then how I make these radial flow filters or radial filters in another video. So the idea is it will, this, it will come from a uh, an IBC tote like this into here at a swirl and then the water will have to go down and then back up and then through a pipe which will be connected to the bottom of this. I'll make it so I can still drain it so they will have a, a ball valve somewhere so that those can drain but they will be connected like that and then this will go back up so where the water comes out and then from here I'll have another pipe that brings it down again and then connects to the bottom of both of these. So it'll have like a T and the water will go up there and up there and then it'll have the radio flow filter set up in those. So that is pretty much the idea that I have now. So you can see how that is. So it'll be made out of eight of these fit into my greenhouse. So I just moved these conical tanks in here as you were able to see. I will play around with it and see where I want to put them but these will be my filters so I want to have a good amount because I will have five of these IBC totes around here and then possibly still that round circular tank you've seen in one of my previous videos that was over there that I might put here. So I want to have a good filtration because I don't have enough space to put more grow beds so I need to have good filtration for the fish but you can see that is generally how it looks nothing drilled yet I will do the drilling those need to become two inch at the bottom since they're only inch and a, or half an inch and those are two inch at the bottom but we'll see how I decide to put them so putting it like this seems to be my best option I do have what eight tanks different sizes but couldn't fit them here because I didn't want such a small gap here I was gonna put two of the smaller ones as you saw those two like right here and here but the gap would make it uncomfortable so that is how I will do it now so basically how the design will be is water will come from here into here at an angle so creating a swirl but then it will also be kind of a, a radial swirl filter so in the center it would be the same tube and everything so the water has to swirl go down and then come back up and then go down from there I'll go into this one which will be a moving bed biofilter and then from here 
into this one. This one will be a radio flow filter. So the point of having this one after the moving bed biofilter is because as the bio media is moving around, the dead bacteria will break off the media and flow this way. So instead of it going into my media bed, which will be this one, I'm gonna have it go into a radio flow filter and settle down before it enters into the media bed. So that is how the design is. It's nice that I have these stands so I can level it and then drill the holes after. Um, whereas the other one I have, which is not in here at the moment, has a stand that's built onto it. So this one's nice because you can take the tanks off. So you can see they just rest pretty much on top of that. But that's the idea. Here is where I'm at in the process of redoing the setup in my aquaponics system. So I have that there, there'll be filters going along here. So right now I do have the rest of this running by having the pipe go from my pump and well, up there to slow down the flow a little and then into here, which goes down to my raft system and then to the hydrotron grow beds. So it is leaks since I moved everything, but when I set it all up, it will be fine. And then I also have filters going over here. So I got that one level. I have this tank with my fish in here. Most of the fish, so I'm gonna put half in here so that they can last longer. So I have those two leveled in spot. You can see that. Then this will be also another filter. And then I have another one going there. And then that will be there. So I'll be filtered from there into that row bed and then down there into the sump. But you can see generally that is what I have at the moment. I have two of the filters level on this side now. So I have one more that I need to put over there. So I gotta level the, basically those kind of pavers at the bottom over there. And I'll get it the same, almost pretty much the same height as this one, because that doesn't matter. As long as this one is higher and the fish tank is higher, then I'm good. So now I got these three placed here nicely. It's always a pain leveling the ground, but I got them there. Still have to cut the holes and do all the plumbing for these. But you can see, 